What is up reefers? Been a while since my last reef update. I'm going to give you one right now. Not much going on, but I'm just going to give you a quick little update, uh, show you some of the corals that are growing pretty nicely, uh, share with you a little bit of a SPS disaster, which cleaned out all of my SPS, and give you a an in-person kind of update on the new tank. Uh, show you some of the gear. I won't do any unboxing yet, but uh, I'll show you the tank. I'll show you the the gear I got with the tank. And uh, yeah, here we go. All right, first piece of coral, uh, I got a new NEM and I absolutely love it. Uh, I got it from my guy, uh, Bobby Moon over at Kush Corals again. Uh, they always have the nicest stuff over there. Pick that up. Uh, looks really nice. I haven't quite figured out the white balance with my uh, my new camcorder here though, but uh, once I do, you're gonna really see these colors pop. Uh, the thing is, it's got a lot of green in the, in the middle of it, uh, really kind of rose and an orangish tint. Uh, clownfish seem to love it too, which is pretty awesome, but, uh, but I'm really happy with it. All right, as you can see, my zoas, zoas are doing pretty well. Uh, a lot of them that I wanted to grow faster than the ones I didn't really care if they grew fast are doing that, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I am uh, I'm pretty happy with these. I know zoos are not, or zoos are not uh, the hardest coral to keep, but I love the coloration in some of these, and when you find one that you like and the coloration is right, right on, you love when it grows. So this guy, I don't know if you remember my unboxing, this guy had four heads on it when I first got it. Uh, I got it somewhere around October, I want to think, I want to say. Again, I got that from Kush Corals, um, and uh, it's grown. It's It's been doing really well. I'm happy with it. Might have to frag that off when I get my new tank, but we'll see. This guy right here has grown a lot. Actually, when I first got this coral, it had Ooh, I want to say like eight heads on it or so the last time I counted this thing had 35 heads on it uh, It started to come onto the rock, which was my main goal I wanted that coral to actually branch and grow on that one specific rock and completely encompass it And once that happened, I was going to take that and let that be a little bit of a centerpiece uh, Now what I'm thinking about doing is actually taking the rock that that is on and what some of these other zoas are on and putting them in the big tank, but I haven't quite decided if that's the way I want to go. Uh, if it is, then that's going to be, it's an awesome start. So I'm really happy with that thing. This guy right here, I actually just moved. Um, when I put my new NEM up there, it didn't like the NEM as much, which I can imagine. So I moved him in his own little rock over here, and he seems to be doing really well. Uh, I moved him like a half hour ago, I want to say. Uh, but this guy is super bright and this actually is another one that I'm, I'm going to probably move to the other tank once once the big tank comes up uh, I love the coloration in this thing and I think the contrast between the two greens uh, is going to come out really sharp so this is one of those ones that I can't wait until I get that tank set up and uh, and have a nice little zoa garden on the bottom My ricks are one of those shrooms that hasn't grown, grown that much. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really do much research before I got these, and I didn't know uh, how fast of a grower they really were. Uh, I guess I took in consideration that they're mushrooms, and mushrooms have a tendency to grow a little faster than other corals. But uh, with that said, these two here, the, the green one and the, the orange one, they are without a doubt some of the nicest picture-taking corals I have. And with, with the reason for that is they're completely filled with little bubbles. And, uh, you know, I, I do like them. They're awesome. I, I wouldn't mind getting a few more of them. Uh, but they seem to be a little bit on the slow-growing side. Uh, now, the orange one, when I bought when I bought it, it, did have two heads, and it seems like that's going to go to three pretty soon here. Uh, but I will definitely keep you updated on that and let you know. Uh, now the next coral, the coral next to it is by far one of my favorite corals. This coral, this coral here is my Miami Dol Dolphins Bounce. And this coral 
is sharp. I mean, this thing has little orange bounce bubbles and uh, it's kind of in a 360 motion, but this is one of those corals that uh, I can't wait till I can get some, some gel filters on my actual Canon camera and uh, take some really sharp pictures of it. I'm really excited to see how that thing grows. Now, other, other than that, all my other shrooms are doing really well. Uh, this shroom back here, and let me see if I can even get some coloration on that, but uh, it, <laughs> the only thing that I can say that that reminds me of, and it's probably really hard to see because I haven't mastered that, uh, that white balance, but think about, uh, it, it's, it's kind of orange, It's like orange with yellow in it and a little bit of green. Kind of reminds me of fall in a weird way. But uh, but yeah, so anyway, I, like I said, I just want to give you a quick little update on the tank. Um, not much going on as far as, uh, you know, tons of new coral or anything like that. Everything seems to be pretty healthy. All right, so I did say I was going to mention what happened with my SPS. Now, it was a couple different things that happened. Uh, number one thing, that happened happens to nearly every reefer that keeps SBS. Uh, my alkalinity swung. Nothing I, nothing, no excuses. That was completely my fault. Uh, it didn't swing by as much as I thought would kill everything, um, but it really took a toll on all my SBS. So uh, that was one thing. Secondly, uh, my town actually has city well water. It's it's uh, really bad water when you're. Um, uh, when you're running like an RODI system, which I am, and uh, they had they had brought a new well in there. The, basically, the new well had some deposit minerals that didn't agree with things, and I had to kind of uh, reap the consequences. I don't think that was as much the problem as the alkalinity swing, but it was definitely a problem nonetheless. Uh, so. With that said, I went ahead and added another stage to my RLDI just in case it happens again. And I haven't had any issues since, so hopefully I won't. But uh, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that's going on with the new tank. And uh, tank isn't up yet, but I will show you everything that I have, all the gear, and pretty much all the Product placement, I guess. Uh, the stand isn't even done yet, but I'll show you the tank itself. I finally got it in my home. So, at any rate, um, this is tank update. Uh, like I said, not much going on right now. I'm getting ready for the big move. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, have fun reefing.